Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. The letter of James in the New Testament offers helpful guidance to Christians of all ages. In some places, it offers warnings about the, the dangers of indisciplined tongues, such things as gossip, behind-the-back criticism, stirring up conflict and dissension. In other places, it warns about the, the dangers of playing favorites, favoritism towards certain people, and, and to shut out those who are, are more on the edge of a group. But no matter what the guidance is that James offers, it is meant to strengthen our relationship with God. We can hear James' concern for the relationship with God in our Bible reading for today. It comes from James chapter 4, verses 7 and 8, and I'm reading from the New Revised Standard Version. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Resisting the devil involves resisting behaviors that harm others and that harm ourselves, whereas drawing near to God involves behaviors that promote health and well-being. Ephraim the Syrian was a biblical scholar in the 4th century. In one of his prayers, we hear his concern for resisting the devil and drawing near to God. Lord and Master of my life, do not give me a spirit of sloth, idle curiosity, love of power, and useless chatter. Rather, accord to me your servant, a spirit of chastity, humility, patience, and love. Yes, Lord and King, grant me to see my own faults and not to condemn my brother. For you are blessed to the ages of ages. Amen. For a prayer exercise, what I'd like to suggest that you do is find a couple of magnets. Hopefully they are strong enough so that you can feel the the power of the attraction between them when they are turned one way, but also that resistance to one another when, when they are turned the other way. May this give you a sense of what it means to resist the devil and draw near to God. <laughs> 